Hi and welcome to the DSLs of Math course. My name is Patrick Jansson and I'm the lecturer. And um, I will be going through a bit of the introduction information for this course. Um, and at the same time, demonstrating a bit of the technology we use. So first, um, Canvas, a Canvas room is the homepage of the course. Uh, it starts out with a course PM, purpose, schedule, contact details, all of these things. The course is fully online this year, so we will not be meeting uh, unless there are some special cases. And um, that means that hopefully the lecturing uh, will work smoothly over Zoom and Canvas will be the communication. And um, we will also use a few other technologies. So uh, one thing that we use a lot is Emacs. So um, Emacs is my editor of choice. And uh, after um, well, the first part of intro, there will be some live coding and so on. And uh, then Emacs will be uh, the place I present things. The code that I present uh, and notes and so on are uh, available at GitHub. So there is an open source repository that you can also contribute fixes or additions if you think you find something you would like to improve. Uh, I would like to encourage downloading, cloning the repository and, and using the, the code, which is often part of the lecture notes, which I usually call the book, the DSLs of math book. Um, Zoom is the tool for delivering the lectures. Hopefully it will work, even though there are so many courses now using it in parallel. And uh, as a substitute for um, drawing on the whiteboard or blackboard, I'm using uh, Jamboard. And um, as a just minimal example here, uh, I will post the link uh, in the chat or on the Canvas page. Um, I can uh, draw different definitions like the integral from x to 2x of x dx and so on. And um, then the idea with this is that I can move on to a new page and uh, you can still uh, in the Jamboard see the previous page. And that will mean um, that um, you can go back and forth between the pages and hopefully um, use in parallel with the Zoom window, a Jamboard window, when I'm doing more um, work in on the whiteboard. Or correspondingly, your own editor of choice when I'm doing live coding, so you can test out your own examples. OK, um, back to the Emacs overview. Uh, I'm using OBS Studio for the recordings, uh, video recordings, and I'm uh, new to this, so some of the uh, setup may not be optimal. I'm interested in feedback if some of you are, are experienced YouTubers. Uh, YouTube is uh, what we use for the video archiving. So I upload my videos to YouTube and there is a, a playlist which also linked from the Canvas page, um, which will be populated step by step. Okay, so much for the tooling. Uh, one of the most important things to mention in the first lecture is how you actually pass the course. So there are three different components which can affect your grade. First, there are weekly exercises, meaning uh, already this week there are exercises where you can give you bonus points for the exam. You can read more about them on the Canvas page. Then, as the compulsory part, the weekly exercises are elective. Uh, you just get bonus points. If you don't do them, you get zero bonus points. But the assignments, they are compulsory. So you need to do two assignments and pass them to pass the course. And then there is a traditional written exam, uh, which is graded. Uh, so if you pass the exam and the written assignments, maybe uh, the exam 
grade is helped by the weekly exercises bonus points. Um, there is one thing to note. I will switch to the the course homepage um, because there is um, a little detail when it comes to the grading. Here are the the details. Um, so assignments are compulsory, yes, but here note that there is a minimum of five credits on each question on the exam required to pass. The exam usually has four or five questions and 100 credit, 100 points in total. So this five point of minimum on each question is tried, trying to ensure that you have learned something from all the different learning outcomes. The questions try to test different things. And if you have zero on some questions, that's supposed to be an indication that you have not learned that part properly. Uh, so getting five credits out of 20 or 25 or 30 credits is, is not meaning you have to do everything, just some some part of it. But do be aware that there is a requirement uh, to have learned all the different parts to some level. Okay, but um, back to Emacs. Um, a feedback from the students on the previous years of the course, they were saying in the evaluation that it's really important to spend time on the course. It really pays off. It's not enough to just focus on the labs, assignment one and assignment two. So, and they suggested a few years ago that we should start with these bonus points for the weekly exercises. And I advise you to try to solve all the exercises in the book, uh, not only the bonus uh, exercises, but all of them, to make sure that you uh, improve your problem solving ability in this area and, and notice and, and read in the book for, for hints and so on. So I was mentioning course evaluation. Um, so we have student representatives suggested, uh, Simon, Frederik and Mats. Uh, I would like to also have a representative from the IT program and a representative from the computer science program at Gotham University. So you don't have to raise your hand right now, but please contact me if you feel you could uh, volunteer for the rest of the students to be in this group. And I will try to meet with them uh, and get feedback from this group uh, early on to make sure that the setup is working as intended. So learning outcomes. So this may be a bit boring before you've actually taken the course, but I think it's important that you're aware of what we're supposed to aim for. So there are three subsections of the learning outcomes. Knowledge and understanding. Well, design and implement a DSL for a new domain. Organize areas of mathematics in DSL terms and explain main concepts of some different domains we apply it to. Skills and abilities. You should develop adequate notation for mathematical concepts, uh, both notation that works well on paper and notation that works well with the computer. You should be able to perform calculational proofs, which we will get back to mostly next week. Uh, you should be able to use power series for solving differential equations and also Laplace transforms, and that will come later in the course. An overarching goal about judgment and approach is that you should be able to discuss and compare different software implementations of mathematical concepts. So uh, this uh, is partly tested by the fact that your assignments, your compulsory hand in assignments one and two are done in groups of three students. And there will be in one case assigned groups and in the other case freely selected groups. So we start with the freely selected and then next time for the second lab, they will be assigned. So uh, at this point, uh, I would like to go into a first breakout room uh, to get the discussion started. I will sign you randomly into groups. Uh, and the point here is that you should get to start talking to each other and about this learning outcome of discussing compare different software implementations, mathematical concepts. I suggest a brief presentation round 
and a, a general question, how do you learn mathematics compared to how you learn programming? So um, that's all for this first uh, admin intro and uh, we'll move on to the breakout rooms.